What's going on guys? Welcome back to another New World Guide. In this guide, I'm gonna show you my Fire Staff build that I built on a budget. I didn't really spend much gold at all to build this out. And most of the stuff you can get for free from drops in dungeons. So let's get into this and I'll show you exactly what this build is. Now you can use this for PVP and PVE. I use it mostly for PVP, but it's very strong and you can use it for PVE as well and dungeons, which I have been doing as well. Although I prefer the Spear and Hatchet, I have been having a lot of fun with this build in dungeons so let's get started with this specific new world build so the first thing we're going to go over is the fire stuff these are weapons that you want to use now there is two that you could potentially use for this build i like to use this one which is keen vicious and empowered uh, empowering fireball so fireball impacts deal 61 percent damage to targets above 50 percent this is very good now this drops from the savage uh, dungeon i think i got it from now this is the go-to that i've been using although this is another one that drops from the forge dungeon and this one gives you keen strikes and keenly jagged uh, this is very good as well not so good if you don't have active grit which you probably don't with this build but if you don't have any other fire staff uh, in your inventory this is a very good high gear score fire staff that you could potentially use and one of the reasons why I like it is because you get that keenly jagged, so you're um, putting even more damage over time onto your enemy. So you're putting fire and you're putting bleed as well. Now I have paired this with the Void Gauntlet because your range attacks inflict disintegrate for 8 seconds. So we're doing fire and disintegrate. I don't really use the Void Gauntlet too much, I basically just spam the fire stuff. Uh, but this stuff you can get for free. Now the next thing is this, I did pay for this. So this gives me um, Fortify Recovery and Empowered last uh, longer than 33% and then I get health as well. Now this is gonna depend on your server. I got this from the marketplace for 2000 gold, which I thought was a very good deal. So that's why I picked this up. These here are pretty much useless for this specific build and I do apologize, but that is because I just needed a ring and an amulet to get my, um, intelligence attribute up that's why i got these but they are pretty much useless so i'm not going to talk about these in this build but you want to find something that has your perks but also has intelligence on it or con constitution for your attributes which we will talk about in a second the next thing i'm rocking and this is important is heavy headgear so if you're using the um, featherweight you can rock heavy headgear and heavy boots as well and this gives you the best armor protection so heavy headwear i am running vigor and I'm also running Shuriken Fortification and Thrust Conditioning. This is just something that drops in a dungeon. And then I'm running the uh, Featherlight one here, uh, Featherweight, sorry, and it has Refreshing and Physical Aversion on it. And then I'm running this light pair of gloves here, which was a drop as well from a dungeon. We got Enchanted Ward, Refreshing and Empowering Breaker when your attacks are blocked which is very good because you can um, block a lot of uh, like AOE attacks that are coming your way. And then we've got this one here that drops for me from a dungeon as well. Shirking energy, refreshing and health. Now this, remember guys, this is more of a PVP build out, but you can use it for PVE. And this stuff is pretty scuffed right now, but it's working very well. And this here is from the Faction Marketplace or the Faction Store. And this has Enchanted Ward, refreshing and health. Now, with, as far as the attributes go, you're gonna, with these, you're gonna wanna have constitution on your pieces and intelligence. You don't really want anything else. I've got a little bit of dexterity here. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, and that's basically the gear. Now the setup that we are running, the attributes we're running, I'll do this now before my food runs out. So the food that I'm running is, uh, I always run food no matter what, is the this one here. The Scorpion, so 40 intelligence for 60 minutes. The attributes, I'm putting 25 into dexterity because it gives us that plus 5% uh, critical hit chance because you don't just want to stack it all into intelligence because you get diminishing returns. I have 25 in focus and that gives us that 5% ability cooldown reduction. I have 394 into intelligence. Now, I have done a lot of testing with this. There's another build you can actually do. If you wanted to, you can take 20 uh, you can take 20 out of intelligence and you can put it into strength and then this will give you a five percent light attack damage bonus buff now i run that sometimes it really just depends because sometimes i'm not doing many light attacks i'm more running abilities and stuff like that but that'll just depend but this is the optimal um attributes i've found that work really well i've done lots of damage testing so this is the optimal one that i found and i have my constitution at 153 
I don't know if this is high or not for this build. So my um, HP is nearly 16,000. It works pretty well for me if I stick around about 16,000. Now, as far as the fire staff uh, skill points here, this is what I have set up. You can just pause the screen and have a look at this, but I'm running the um, pillar of fire and I'm running the fireball and then I'm running the burnout just to get out of the way if I need to or catch up to other enemies. But you can pause the screen and look at this and you can see exactly what I am running on this specific uh, build. Now, as far as the void gauntlet goes, I don't really use it too much. It's more just to give that extra distinguished, um, or whatever it's called, damage. However, I do run the uh, oblivion just so I can shoot out an orb uh, if I need to on the enemy, if they're kind of running away or just into like groups of people. I'm never recording here again. Like these guys are so annoying. <laughs> Lesson learnt. But that is what I'm um, doing with the Void Gauntlet. But it doesn't really matter. I don't really use it. I essentially just spam the Fire Staff as much as possible. And I'm using the Void Gauntlet for that negative energy perk because it actually works on our ranged uh, attacks. It works on our ranged Fire Staff attacks. All right, guys. So that's my Fire Staff build that I'm using. Now, when it comes to the... Um, to the gems and all that i haven't really figured out what gems are the best i have these gems on this because i'm doing mutated dungeons with these two specific pieces and the rest you want to go ahead and run something that gives you elemental protection but also gives you an extra fire damage to so those rune glass ones that you can potentially use but i haven't really figured out the best ones to use yet but i would recommend elemental protection and fire damage enhancement all right guys i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe tap the notification bell smash that like button and i'll see you then